hang on to some warm weather, but before we get into that, I'll take a look at our temperature trend over the last several days, which we often say is a roller coaster, but it really looks like it this time around. Last week, we started out in the low 80s. That cold storm dropped us down into the upper 40s on Wednesday, and then over the weekend, a nice warm up. We made it into the low 70s, which is several degrees above average for this time of year. And today, temperature will climb even a little bit higher. Uh, we're off to a cold start in Logan in 38, 32 right now in Park City, so right at freezing, but we're hovering near 50 in Salt Lake as well as much of the Wasatch Front. Upper 30s in Vernal as well as Cedar City, upper 40s right now in St. George. It's chilly as it might be. Uh, when you step out the door, those temperatures are actually running a little bit higher uh, than they were 24 hours ago. And other than a few stray clouds drifting uh, across the north, we've got fair skies across the state this morning uh, with high pressure dominating the weather pattern. That's indicated by the darker orange on the map. There is going to be a storm brushing by to our north tomorrow, sending a dry cold front through, uh, knocking the temperature down a little bit by the middle of the week. But behind it, that high pressure builds again later in the week and brings more warm weather heading into the weekend. So feeling pretty mild for the month of October. In fact, uh, Salt Lake City will be sunny today with our temperature climbing all the way up to 76. And by this afternoon, we'll just have a light breeze out of the west, northwest at about five to 10 miles per hour. It'll be in the low 70s in Wendover. You'll make it up to 79 in Moab this afternoon. Climb a little higher than that in Milford, 83. St. George, you'll make it up to 88. Definitely want to take advantage of that and some uh, nice weather this evening. We'll hang on to clear skies and overnight temperatures still running uh, well above our average lows for this time of year. We'll drop down into the low 50s in Salt Lake, mid 50s in St. George. More of the same in the south. In fact, temperature doesn't change much at all in St. George until this weekend when you're going to be dropping down into the low to mid 80s. And in Salt Lake City, uh, it'll only be slightly cooler middle of the week when that cold front comes in. In fact, we'll drop into the upper 60s on Wednesday with that high pressure building back. Temperatures will climb all the way up into the mid 70s by Friday and Saturday and close to that by this coming Sunday.